African Americans remain perennially underrepresented in gifted programs in American schools. And in order for us to recognize partly why that occurred, we have to take a look into the past. I have just published a research article that looks at the first known research investigation of gifted African American children. And it took place in the 1920s and was conducted by a social worker named Lillian Steele Proctor. She took a close look at 30 gifted African American children in the Washington DC schools. Formative studies of gifted education in the 1920s did not typically include students of color. In fact, the pioneering researchers in giftedness were making claims that suggested that gifted students of color hardly existed. Proctor challenged those claims through her research by highlighting not only the existence, but the remarkable abilities of these 30 gifted African-American children that she studied in Washington, D.C. In addition, it highlighted the salience of environmental, familial, and school contexts that in many ways thwarted the possibilities and opportunities of these very promising black children. She noted that Washington, D.C. was racially segregated and that these children were often excluded from various cultural amenities, educational opportunities, and opportunities to grow in their intellect and their aspirations. Those are some of the things that made Proctor's study especially significant. If we want to fully appreciate the educational debt in our society, we have to realize the origins of racist conceptions of intelligence and their nefarious legacies and the ways in which skilled researchers like Lillian Steele Proctor tried very hard to expose them.